segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by... Have you ever tried to hunt from a crooked tree and couldn't? Now you can with the TS-1 by Out on a Limb Tree Stands. With a big 23-inch by 30-inch platform and a two-piece design, hunt any tree, any angle. Don't just hunt where you can, hunt where you want. Surrender Outdoors would also like to thank these fine sponsors. 360 Communications, Shamrock Bank, Advantech Pest Services, and Lynch Lawn and Landscape. We've got a big buck that I call Tank that came in here to feed a few nights ago and I had to work and couldn't be here. So I'm hoping he comes back in here. We've got BBD on the ground, we're slayed up, wearing our treason, ready to put the Obsession Evo to work. Um, I'm gonna get quiet. There's no telling what can happen this evening. Um, if they come in chasing, it's gonna be hard to get a shot. We do a lot of solo filming here at Surrender Outdoors. Anyways, we're gonna try to do our best, so. Oh, big buck coming. took hair off of him but he's fine I got another arrow knocked and couldn't get turned in time to, to 
to shoot him, but who knows? I'm a rattle. Maybe he'll come back. Hey, Corey, what are you up to? Oh, I'm going to go out here and try to shoot some fish out of my new 2016 Tracker Grizzly 2072. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to take this 195 Tracker and see if I can't catch a few bass. Where's your brother at? Oh, he's over there getting that nitro ready. He's going to see if he can't outdo me. Uh, he probably will. The kids and I are having a blast in our new Sun Tracker pontoon. It comes with a 10 year bout of stern warranty. RCS and Tackles Marine. Your authorized Tracker Boats dealer. The leaves may be changing soon, but the great deals remain at Mackey's in downtown Durant. Like this power leather sofa with USB charger, 50% off. Or this sofa with recliners, just $6.99. And this Serta 85th anniversary perfect sleeper adjustable friendly queen set was $9.99 slashed to just $5.99. Save big with this Whirlpool washer and dryer, just $6.99. The leaves may be changing soon, but the great deals remain. Durant's oldest furniture and appliance dealer, Mackey's in downtown Durant. Do you need a gun for personal protection? Are you an avid hunter? Check out Gun Nuts. At Gun Nuts, we buy, sell, and trade all types of firearms, from rifles and shotguns to pistols and personal handguns. Need a custom finish? Get Cerakote right here. We stock all types of ammunition and accessories, as well as provide screen printing. So if you need a gun, come see us at Gun Nuts, Highway 70 in Mead, Oklahoma. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Brian Appraisal and Realty, where integrity still matters. Contact Justin Boone for all your farm, ranch, and recreational property needs located anywhere in the state of Oklahoma. Surrender Outdoors would also like to thank these fine sponsors, One and Done Game Feeders, Brewers Auto Sales, The Winding Stair Lodge, and Texoma Maintenance and Refrigeration. Well, as you folks can see in the footage, I just whiffed, choked, missed, whatever you want to call it. I, I can't make excuses. I just messed it up. But positive note, I'm glad that I did. I had already hunted, let's see, 31 days in October. And so that was November the 9th. So 40 days. That was my 33rd hunt before I actually saw a shooter buck. And that was the first shooter I'd seen in all those days. And he just looked bigger to me than what he actually was. So I'm glad I've missed this buck. Um, the bucks are starting to get on their feet in the, in the daylight time. So I'm gonna hunt the next several days and, and, and just really get after it. I hunt several days and all I'm seeing is small bucks. Well, on November the 19th, I go hang a new stand. I go in there that evening, climb up, get my camera arm hooked on. I just hooked the camera onto the arm and I look up and 200 yards away, the buck that I've been hunting for all year, Lucky, the same deer I passed six times last year. That's why his name is Lucky. Um, he's running in on a dead run from 200 yards at four o'clock in the afternoon. So I man, I'm, I get him to stop. I've got the camera on him. I pull my bow back. I look in the viewfinder and I can't see his head. I can't see his rack, but I can see his vitals. I, I guess just because of cameraman instinct, I let down and I move the camera and I pull back again. When I get back that second time, I don't get quite all the way back. He doesn't see me. He just, he was already spooked and he takes off and runs. If I'd have never moved the camera, I feel like I'd have had a 19, you know, 19 point, 170 inch buck on the ground. But, but who knows, I might have, I might have missed again. There's no telling. Uh, cell filming is really tough. You know, you don't like to do it, but sometimes you have to. Well, with the deer moving in the daylight, you know, I've seen two shooters in 10 days and um, I've seen several little bucks in the daylight. I tell Mason, hey, don't make any plans tomorrow evening. I need you in the tree running the camera for me if you don't mind because the big bucks are moving and, and I'm doing every, everything I can to get one of these. So I'm hoping to either see Tank or either see Lucky again the next evening. Now it's time for Fan Collector Calls Tech Tips. Okay, folks, we're going to talk about hunting the rut. 
white-tailed deer love hunting whitetails guys the peak of the rut is crazy them bucks are chasing does everywhere you never know where you're going to come across one you see a doe running hard you leave a buck behind her the best time to set up and try to call in a buck is right before the peak or right after the peak okay them bucks are receptive they're looking for a doe what you want to do is you want to get up in that old buck's bedroom right in the middle of a bunch of scrapes area that you know he's in he's using it a lot you got a lot of sign a lot of rub signpost rubs if you're looking for a dominant buck remember big bucks will make little rubs also little bucks won't make big rubs okay so you find big rubs but you find little ones in there that could be that big and doing it okay but we're going to set up in there and try to get that old buck come in the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an estrus doe bleed we'll do a couple of these what this is receptive doe wanting to be bred she's wanting to find a buck so we'll take this thing wait just a little while be real quiet and hit her again Okay, as soon as you get through with that, you're going to take the old sag daddy, you're going to draw it out and change that ring on that dude. I carry two to keep from having to do that. Go back to this old grunt. We're going to do a tending grunting behind that. Wait a little while. If nothing happens, give it about 25, 30 minutes. Do the same process again. Okay, because that old buck might not be in hearing distance, but he's coming through that area sooner or later. He hears that. He's going to want to come and check it out. That's his bedroom and somebody else is in it. Okay, you want to try to get him to slip in there. Now remember, use some good cover scent, some good scent-free clothing, whatever, because then bucks like to use more than one sense. Okay, they hear, they want to see or they want to smell. If they can't see, they're going to try to circle downwind of you. Okay, get ready, watch downwind. That buck may be just a little ways out there and you can't hear him walking, but you can see him. Good luck to you. God bless you. you guys go tear them up. See how you can do. Fan collector triple teams, even when they're dead silent, it will bring them to life. The Winding Stair Lodge, owned and operated by the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma, is nestled in the mountains of southeastern Oklahoma with a 12,000 square foot lodge sitting on 22,000 acres of paradise. It's the perfect facility to have your next reunion, wedding, corporate retreat, or great weekend getaway. With several private lakes, hiking trails, ATV trails, and plenty of wildlife, your stay at the Winding Stair Lodge will be a one-of-a-kind experience. Be sure and check out our Facebook page for more information and future announcements. Whatever your perfect temperature, you'll enjoy consistent comfort with the heating and air conditioning systems, homeowners rank number one. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, a higher standard of comfort. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Mullins Taxidermy, located between Medill and Kingston, specializes in big game and fish. Award-winning high-quality work for the everyday outdoorsman. No trophy is too big or too small. So contact Preston Mullins to preserve your trophy of a lifetime. Surrender Outdoors would also like to thank these fine sponsors. K&D Customs, Brett Lane Electric, Turf Roofing, and Blow em Tight Insulating. Well, it's November 20th. It's the evening hunt here in Oklahoma. I got my son Mason behind the camera. If I'd have had him here yesterday, I would have killed 170. I had Lucky come in. It's really windy. I don't know if you can hear me, but 
We've got BBD on the ground. These bucks are cruising this area. This is a new set. I just set it yesterday. In the first evening in, I had him at 10 yards and then again at 22 yards and couldn't get it done self filming. So anyways, we're gonna we're gonna shut up and get quiet. And I hope the same thing happens as yesterday. shot at but I just shot at a, a good one he come in on us quick I got Mason behind the camera I don't even know if I hit him or not I gotta rewatch the footage and see listen he hit the fence or did he go through it I don't know, folks, it's getting dark, so we're running out of light. He come in at last light, and he was moving quick. He actually stopped at the BBD that I have out. He was actually eating it when I shot him. Anyways, we're gonna rewatch the footage and see. Welcome to Backwoods Hunting and Fishing Supply, located in downtown Caddo, Oklahoma. Your local authorized obsession, diamond, and PSE bows dealer. Need a crossbow, recurve, or bow fishing bow? We have those too. Whether you're in the woods or on the water, Backwoods stocks an assortment of accessories for your outdoor needs. And remember, service is key and our number one go. We look forward to earning your business. So stop by, give us a try at Backwoods Hunting and Fishing Supply. Wall-to-wall -wall sellout at Ryan's Road Strand. Wall-to-wall, ceiling to floor, out the door. All the value at half the price. All living room, including premium leather and reclining, half off. All recliners and mattresses, half off. All bedrooms and dining rooms, half off. Special financing up to 40 months. 
Your furniture is in stock, ready for immediate pickup or quick delivery. Texoma's Tempur-Pedic Specialist, 42 years, unbeatable prices and unmatched service. Shift into savings now at your local Kubota dealer. Kubota's RTVX series is the best-selling diesel utility vehicle in the industry, earning their place by setting the standard for being durable and reliable under all kinds of conditions. Right now, you can get long-term financing as low as 0% APR for up to five years on new Kubota RTVX utility vehicles. See your local Kubota dealer today. At Texas Utility Equipment in Durant, and you can see us online at TexasUtility.com. At Liberty Land and Ranch, we're sportsmen, but we're also dedicated real estate professionals. Our Texas and Oklahoma agents are specialists in wildlife and livestock management, ranch construction, habitat improvement, and several other fields that serve our clients' needs. We use cutting-edge technology and proven marketing techniques. Whether you're looking to purchase your dream hunting ranch or to sell your working cattle ranch, visit libertyranches.com or call me at 903-922-1283. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Alright, well we had to go back to the truck and get the camera light. Um, we think we heard him crash. We did look right where I shot him and couldn't find the arrow. We found a couple of little specks of blood, but I'm pretty sure we heard him crash because we think we heard him hit a fence. So anyways, we're gonna just go that way slowly and look for blood and, and hopefully find him. That's the only thing I know to do. So, but he was eating BBD. He's a good buck. Footage in the best. I didn't realize how many leads he was behind when we rewatched it. Mason told me he's behind stuff, but it's been a tough year. I just asked him if he was on him. He said yes, so, so I shot. So let's see, hopefully we find him. Here's blood. Oh, here's quite a bit of blood. Oh yeah, we've been walking on it. We walked on it for about 10 or 12 yards. You see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it completely so, passed through. Well, I don't know. I mean, he ran a long ways with it in him. He's already ran like 60 yards. Yeah. I don't know. It, it looks like it passed through. <laughs> Whole thing's bloody. No, he wouldn't have carried it this far. I yeah, know. I don't know. You smell it. Man. Oh, there's no pot, so... It's lung blood, it's got bubbles in it. It's just a matter of time. Oh my gosh, yeah, look. He stopped here. Oh, he stopped right here. Right there, there he is, you see him? Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Mason, for filming. That's awesome. We knew he hit this fence. Is that light bothering you? No, you're good. Uh, yeah, turn it. Put on. Is this the first buck you ever filmed me? Yeah, this is the, I think this is the first deer I've ever filmed you kill before. That is awesome. All right, let's go to him. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> what he is. That's my cameraman. <coughs> Big buck down, man, it's been a long year. Oh my God, do you smell him? Yeah. Oh my God, he's huge. Oh my God. Well, here he is. I'm not sure what buck he is, and I don't care. I got my son Mason behind the camera tonight. Special night, because this is the first hunt he's ever filmed me kill or harvest a buck, and I, f I filmed him kill a bunch, a lot of big ones too. And this is our first kill with Obsession Bow, and he is a good one. He's not the biggest buck we're hunting, but it has been a long season. This is my 33rd hunt of the year. And uh, it finally all come together tonight. Not sure how good the footage is. I know when I asked Mason if he could see him, he said, yeah, but he's behind some leaves and we were losing light fast and and uh, didn't have time to make a camera adjustment, but it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just ecstatic. I've been in such a bad mood and in such a funk these past few weeks and, and uh, saw one of the biggest deer I've ever seen, had a chance to kill yesterday. 
and I tried to get on him and couldn't make it happen self-filming and lost a buck earlier this year that I just cut. But uh, good Lord blessed us tonight. And we got a good buck down just in time too because rifle season starts tomorrow. So, But if it's legal, we're gonna do it. So we'll be rifle hunting tomorrow and we got a big buck to go home with. And It's warm out tonight, I'm burning up in this coat. We just wanna thank our sponsors, thank Obsession Bows, thank Trees and Camo, our new camo for this year. Uh, fan collector calls out on a limb tree stands. Um, who am I missing, Mason? Slay the game, Slay. our Slay scent spray that keeps us covered up. We got a lot of great sponsors at Surrender Outdoors and we really appreciate what they do. Thank you, Lord. Thanks for filming, Mason. It's awesome. You're welcome. Well, I just want to take a moment to apologize to you folks for the quality of footage. We are working very hard at Surrender Outdoors to bring you the best TV that we can. Um, our cameras have settings and as you can see when Mason comes back to me in the tree there was plenty of light. He just didn't have time to make an adjustment and I had been hunting hard for 40 days and uh, just wasn't going to let that deer get away so I decided to take him. But anyways we're still able to share it with you folks and, and we want to take this time to, to thank our sponsors. Without our sponsors we couldn't bring you guys our show Surrender Outdoors. We wouldn't be able to share that with you folks. So if y'all would take a moment to check them out at the end of our credits. We partner with, with good Christian companies, uh, sol solid folks, and products that we believe in, products that work. And as you saw in that footage, that deer stops and puts his head down. You can't see it very good, but he is eating BBD Nutrition. Um, I can't tell you folks how powerful that is. You just got to try it yourself. It is the best product I've ever seen or used, and it is a game changer. Not only to help you grow big bucks, to have healthy fawns, healthy does, it will help you harvest big deer. You feed them year round, and I promise you they'll come. Um, be sure and check them out. Uh, we'll put their number at the bottom of the screen. You can contact them for a dealer near you. And uh, we just appreciate you guys watching this week. God bless you. We'll see you next week.